What a blessing. Man, it got good in here last night. If you missed last night, I know most of you at your own church. Good one. It was good in here last night. Amen. Just a word, right quick. And I know we're going to move. It was, it's still school night. Uh, tomorrow night, I want everybody here to be sure and come back. I don't know how far it is from <coughs> Clover or where yeah. everything's where from, but uh, uh, it looks like you're going to hang me up there. <laughs> uh, uh, try to come back tomorrow night. Bring somebody with you. Uh, we're going to be doing the um, video presentation tomorrow night, Lord willing, on the subject, The Mark of the Beast. I remember when I first got saved, preachers preached it. I did too. They said there'd come a day when one man would rule the world and he'd cause people to have a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Of course, everybody yeah. preached it on them. On your hand or on your forehead. We didn't think it was possible. Yes, sir. But to be in. Yeah. Yes. But we do now, don't yes, we? Do. In do. your right hand. Yeah. Or in the forehead. Yeah. And if you don't believe we're right at that, it's already here. Right. I don't say the mark of the beast is here, but the, it's, the stage is set right now. Right. He, he that now let us is let yes. until he be taken out of the way. Right. The only thing holding back the devil from just taking over this world completely is that the church is still here, right. preacher still preaching, right. people still got old time Holy yep. Ghost religion. Yep. And buddy, when the Lord says go, let's get out of here. You know, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. And so you go, it'd be well worth your time to be here tomorrow night. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. You yeah. Just absolutely will not believe what you're going to see. And we'll use that big screen Amen. and bring everybody you can that's not saved. You have somebody that's not a Christian. I know it's Friday night. But tell them you'll go to McDonald's after church. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to go eat out every... It, look, most of y'all, it wouldn't hurt you a bit. <laughs> and this one. Yeah. Right? But I'm going to preach the Bible whether you like it or not. And so it ain't going to kill you. You starve to death, yeah. he'll preach your funeral for free once you preach. <laughs> you starve to death by coming tomorrow night. So be here tomorrow night. Bring that lost family member, friend, somebody. And, and, and let's pray God will do something. We're running out of time, y'all. This may be the last chance any of us ever have. And yeah, it is, it will take just a second. I don't know if i got any more you friends flying <laughs> underneath there, Ernie. Uh, I don't think I do. But anyway, i got some out of the car. We'll send one of these boys up there to get them. Ashes over for all you visitors. Uh, uh, the Giant Spring Youth Rally will be coming up two weeks from tomorrow night. At the Burke County Fairground in Morgan, and I'm telling y'all, if you got kids, uh, that's the place to have them. It, we, hey, it's just unbelievable. What, if, if you've never been to youth rally, you know what I'm talking about. It's a really hot, strong weekend. I'll be preaching a new yeah. video message on the devil's devices. Uh, it, it amazing how up to date that King James Bible is. Right. Says we are not ignorant of his what devices, right. and that's the very word all the teenagers in school use now. Charge this device, this device, charge it. I got a charger from all my device. Isn't that amazing how that old book yeah, stays yeah. ahead of society? Amen. <laughs> That's right. What what? Mean, that Amen. That's right. And the Lord called it out there. Yep. So I'll be bringing that in a uh, field kid from Kingsport, Tennessee. will be giving his life story on Saturday night. It started with a pistol and ended with a bang. <coughs> you never heard such a story in your life. And that's the Burke County Fairground. It's real easy to find there yeah. more than that. Uh, you say, well, that's a long way from here, preacher. It ain't no farther from here there. It is from there here. I'm <laughs> <laughs> here than here every night. So uh, uh, yeah. come on and be with us. That's the 27th and 28th. Don't miss that. I'm telling you, uh, you you'll be glad you did. All right. Appreciate yeah. all the preachers. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, let me find folks come and sing tonight. What a blessing that was. Yeah, Lord, bro. I, I, I ain't heard a choir. I enjoyed that good in a long time. That's I mean, right, bro. I mean, bro. That was a blessing. Amen, bro. Let's take a Bible tonight and turn to 1 Peter chapter 1, the book of 1 Peter tonight, and we'll get in the Word of God here just a little bit. Uh, chapter number 1. Here in the Bible. This is what it's all about, the Word of God. Right. I love singing. Yep. But we wouldn't have nothing to sing about. Come on. Yes. Enjoy it, brother. 
First Peter chapter 1, yes. I'll read verse number 18. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed, that word redeemed, you know what that means, bought, paid for, bought back, redemption, with corruptible things as silver and gold yes. from your vain conversation received by tradition from the fathers, but with the precious Blood yes. of Christ. Yes, amen. As of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. That's right. But was manifest in these last times for you. The title of the message is in verse 19 where it says, But with the precious blood of Christ. Amen. Be seated. I want to preach that thought tonight. The precious blood of Christ. We're living in a time when the doctrine, the teaching, and the preaching of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is under attack. And uh, the Bible said here that it is precious. Now precious and blood are two words that we would... Don't go get it. We would never, you would never match up precious with blood. You come up on a car accident and there was a pop pool of blood, you wouldn't say, How precious? Come on. It'd be awful. Come on. It'd be turn your stomach. Yeah. Almost make you want to throw up. Yeah. Somebody, somebody gets cut and your kids get cut. Blood runs down your hand. Or you don't say, uh, Oh, isn't that precious? No, no. But God said His blood was precious. Amen. That means His blood is different than yeah. by your or yeah. anybody else on, that's ever yeah. been on this earth. Yeah. I want to talk about that for a little while this season. Try, they're trying to take the blood out of our songbooks. There's a certain uh, a famous songbook that had the song, Jesus Thy Blood and Righteousness. Yeah. Some of the big shot churches... When they got their new song books, it said, Jesus, thy robe of righteousness. Oh, and erased out the blood. Yeah, That's just a little too religious sounding for these big shot people yeah, oh, in the, the downtown church. Oh, yeah. That's an old right. slaughterhouse religion. Yeah, come that on, come on, there with that old bloody stuff. Yeah. And they say that me and you are just... Oh, just old hillbilly rednecks and uh, they're too raw and they're a little bit too big shoddy uh, uh, to talk about old oh, blood. and That's not necessary and, and all of that. And I want to say tonight, if you ever, if you ever step your foot inside God's gates of heaven, it will be because the blood. Uh, it, it, that's the only way you can. The only thing standing between my soul and hell tonight oh, is the blood. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. If not for the blood, I'd never be saved. Yes, I said the song said, There is a fountain filled with blood. Oh, yes. I from the manual's hand. And sinners plunge beneath that flood. That is all they're guilty. Yes. 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 Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. Truth. I'm doing it for others and I flip it on trying to find some preaching. It's been a long time ago. And I turned it on. Right? You don't, don't never turn your radio on FM to hear preaching. I ain't no preaching on FM. Right. I, I most people read wrong Bible stuff. Yeah. But, uh, I, I got on there. This guy, some Yankee got on there. And uh, he's wet. No, he took the microphone and he said, uh, Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a man like me. And I was like, yeah. 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 Do you know what's wrong with that guy? He would not admit that he's a wreck. Yeah, oh, yeah go ahead. Well, guess what? He's a wreck. Yeah. And you're a wreck. Yeah. And I'm a wreck. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know you're a wreck. Yeah. 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 Yeah
everything you had said Come about on. thoughts yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up here tonight. I'm telling you tonight, brother, we're wretch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if I know what a wretch is, but I am one. I know yeah. that. Oh, you tell us how that it's bad. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that, that Bible said the Lord's blood is precious. Yes. Yeah. Oh, precious. Yes, it is. Now tonight, I'm going to take just a few minutes and tell you why I believe the blood is precious. Number one, it is precious because of what it costs. Amen. It is precious tonight because yeah. of what it costs. Amen. When a young man uh, finds a young lady and he wants to marry her and, and he, she becomes his sweetheart, he'll work and he'll work and sometimes he'll buy a very expensive diamond or something. He'll work and go in debt and everything else. And they bar and steal. I was trying to give her that, that ring. And yeah. uh, when he gives her that thing, boy, and puts it on her finger, uh, she'll say, buddy, that come at a high cost. Yeah. I can make the big hope diamond. Right. And those things. And, uh, and, and there's a man that said, everyone come in one time. She had a diamond on about that big around. And all the other ladies said, good Lord, that's the biggest. That's the prettiest diamond I've ever seen. She said, that's the famous Johnson diamond. And it comes with a curse. And they said, what's that? said, Mr. Johnson. That thing's come, and there's a high price. Yeah. There's a high, high price paid for some of that joy. It's a big price that's paid. But the ladies and gentlemen, no other price has ever been paid. But God paid. More for God to save you than it did to make you. Yes. 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 It didn't cost him nothing but a word to make yes. his world. Yes. God said, Let there be. That was it. Yes. 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 Sound effects. <laughs> God said, Let there be light, and there was. God yes. said, Let there be tree. There was. God said, Let there be mountain. There was. Yes. It didn't cost him nothing but a word. But when it comes to salvation, oh. it cost him his darling. Yes. Separated, yeah. they've been eternally existent back in the eons of past. Yes, and yeah, the yeah. Son of God shed that blood uh, for our sins. Yeah. That's a high call. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you to preach. The next time you start feeling sorry for yourself, oh, and oh, the next time you feel like oh, nobody oh, don't preach. care, you just sit back and say, buddy, somebody loved me enough to go to Calvary and yeah. yeah. shed yeah. that blood. Yeah. Yeah. Girls at home tonight. Well, they don't these two thugs. I'm already in that. They're all, uh, uh, three daughters. They're all grown and married. And uh, uh, I, uh, them girls. And I wouldn't let my I wouldn't want my girls to die for somebody. Boy. I, I believe coming right down to it, if I was me or them, I'd die for them. I'd give my life for my girls, but I wouldn't let my girls die for my enemies. Somebody that hated me and somebody that blessed me, and you wouldn't either. We're not made that way. We don't know the love of God. Just the old story of how Jesus' blood was shed for our sin. Or about this preacher and his one of his members he, that he really liked, he got to go uh, to Jerusalem on one of those Holy Land trips. And he toured Israel and everywhere over there. And he tried to get the preacher to go, and he couldn't go. He couldn't get off work, or he didn't have the money or something. Anyway, he couldn't go. And uh, he said, when that guy got back, he said he brought him in one Sunday morning, and he had him a little piece of wood. And he said, he said now, preacher, I don't know if this is genuine or not, they're they selling it over there in Jerusalem, little little, little bits, and they say it's of a cross. If, I mean, they sold enough of that cross to build a ranch-style home. Uh, uh, but they, uh, they said, this, this little piece of wood, if it's not it, it's like it. And he said, when I was over there, I thought about you, preacher. And he said, I thought about you, and I bought this, and I wanted to bring it back to you. This is from Calvary. And that preacher got up there in the pulpit that morning and he hit him. And he said, but so-and-so, when he was over there at Calvary, he thought of his old preacher back home. And he said, he brought me this piece of wood. And he said, Lord, people, he said, I'm glad one day many Come years on. ago Come somebody on. thought of me yeah. when they was over yeah. He said, the Lord took a heel. Yeah. And he yeah. went down to the river and said, Come on. Hey, be yeah. well. Come on. And he said, his feet. Come on. And he said, somebody, when he was on the cross, yeah. I was on his back. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I'm glad to say tonight, if all the winds of hell blow, 
go against us. Yeah, and the world turned yeah. against us. Yeah. We can still look back and oh, say, Son of man. Years of spinning vanity and pride. Caring not my Lord was crucified. Amen. Amen. Knowing not it was for me he died. Yeah. Yeah. On Calvary. Yes, Amen. It's great and precious because of what it costs. Number two. It's precious because of what it claims. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. The blood is precious because of what it claims. You know what it claims? The blood of Jesus Christ makes a claim that nothing else makes. It claims that nobody in the world can get to God Come without on. it being applied. To that's right. That's a pretty big. That's a pretty big yeah. claim. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the other religions in the world, they say, "Well, do this, you know." And, and, and there are there's a big attempt by a lot of our politicians and even religious leaders, the Pope and then and Rick Warren and a bunch of them nuts like that. And they're all trying to bring all religions together. And they're going to call it Chrislam, you know, or uh, merge Christianity and Chrislam. And they say, after all, we all worship the same God. And we just call him by different names. And they go up that road and they get there. And we come up this road, we get there. There will be people trying to go up that other road and they get there. There's only one thing wrong with that. It's a lie out of hell. That's right. Jesus said, I am free. Street here in a minute. <laughs> 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 
you can accuse me of being narrow. That's how narrow I am right there. Amen. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That's how narrow I am. Yeah. Right there. See if it ain't in there. Yeah. Yes. 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 I was on an airplane. I put up somewhere up north to preach. And I was on an airplane. And there's this little hot shot, preppy sort of college guy. I thought he knew everything. Been in college about one year. Full of the devil. And thought he knew everything. Sat down beside me. And I always try to witness people, you know. He was sitting there. And I was going to witness to him, you know, and everything. And uh, uh, I, I didn't get nowhere. He was a smart Alex sort of guy. I was trying to be a witness to him and everything. Finally, finally I said, uh, well, you know, the Lord's coming back. I don't care what the Vinci Code says. I just said it. It was on my mind. Uh, and he said, have you read the book? I said, no, I haven't. Uh, you read the Bible? <laughs> they, always, they always want to know if we've seen their dinner. They ain't read ours. <laughs> read it through about a hundred times on your knees. Yeah. And ask God to show you the truth yeah. before you start finding fault with it. Come on. Come on. You'll come up and change man. I said, you read, well, I read parts of it. He said, I study religion, you know. I have stuff like that. We talked something like that. And it went on up for a minute ago like that. And I said, let me tell you something. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is alive. They didn't find his bones. They came out a few years ago and said, we found the tomb of Jesus. What will this do to Christians? Oh, they're getting ready to find life on another planet, you know. But it really ain't. But they're going to tell you it is. Mark my word. It's coming. They're going to tell you they found evidence of life on another planet. And a lot of people are going to say, oh my goodness, we found out the Bible ain't true. Like, no, 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 no. That's a strong delusion. I don't care if there's 14 little green men come to that little right <laughs> And said, we put you here billions of years ago and been monitoring you. And now we've come to rehabilitate. I tell you, go back to hell where you come oh, Ha, ha, ha. 
Listen, his life's pretty pretty. Yeah. And, uh, pretty, pretty yeah. he'll, ne he'll never happen. That's right. That'll never happen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Precious because of what it claims. Right. Precious because of what it claims. Right. Amen. Number three. It's precious because of what it conquered. Yes. You know what he does? Mm. He does it to give you the victory. Yeah. He gives you the victory. Yeah. The Bible said they overcame him, the devil, yeah. by the blood of the Lamb, yeah. and by the word of their testimony. Yeah. And they loved not their wives under the death. And just, um, lady to in our church this Sunday. I don't know her name. She came in. She's about 20 years old, had a little baby. And, and she told me, she said, Preacher, she said, You pray for me. She said, the Voices. Talk to me. And she said, I can hear things talk to me. And you know, a lot of times everybody says, all them people are crazy. All them people ain't crazy. Right. 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 The devil doesn't talk to crazy people. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that hears voices ain't crazy. Right. right. You know that boy shut the school up down there in Florida the other day? Well, you know what they won't tell you on the news? I got a new video. He said demons and voices told him to go do it. Yeah. yeah. And I don't believe that. Yeah. I believe yeah. that. I, do too. I believe that's why he did it. Yeah. 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 I did a whole message on that. It's on YouTube it's called School Shooting. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that girl told me, she said, What should I do? And I said, I'll tell you what you do. You don't need to go sit down and go to a counselor and be put on uh, uh, some kind of a. Uh, Zone off or some oh. fool, something or another like that. You don't need no drug to calm oh. you down. Yeah, like, you don't. You don't have HD, AD, AD, or DHT. Lord, I've had it all my life. I didn't know this was a disease. I never could pay attention. I want to go. Lord, I'm not a human being when I'm growing up. I know it. All men have HD. Lord, we just we just hear what we want to. Is that right, ladies? Got off track, I love it. Somebody must have needed that. Yeah. But anyway, I said, I'll tell you what you do, sister. When them things start coming around you, you get down and you plead the blood. Come on. You plead the blood. Yeah. Come on. You plead the blood over your kids before they go yeah. to school. Right. You plead the blood over your marriage. Right. You plead the blood over your husband yeah. and your wife. I mean, listen, I know people think, oh, that's, isn't that a little silly? No. The Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They precious because of what it conquered. Oh, yeah. I don't believe there's any sin that you can't quit. Come on. Come on. No, don't don't misunderstand me. Don't miss me. I didn't say you could be sinlessly perfect. We're never going to be sinlessly perfect until you can, right? We got that? Right, right. But you can't tell me I'm hooked on this alcohol and I can't quit. Yes, yes, you, can. yes you can. You can't say I'm on this drug and I can't. This is the power of the blood. Yeah. 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 I've seen people get saved yeah. and quit drinking like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. never touch yeah. anything. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you tonight it's powerful. There's power. Right. Power. Right. power. Wonder working yeah. power. from the burden of sin, there's power in the blood. Yeah. Would you or evil a victory win? There's power in the blood. Yeah. I'm telling you tonight, any sin that you've got tonight, you can all these preachers up here tonight, we'll get around this altar and we'll plead the blood of Jesus on, on you. Come on. And you read that book about 15 chapters tomorrow and the next day of the pray and stay away from eat yeah. and run around with yeah. them. Yeah. 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 Right. Gospel. Gospel. And I ain't talking about getting off drugs on Suboxone. That's right. If you're on Suboxone, you ain't off drugs. That's right. You just got a legal one, and the doctor gets the money instead of the drug that pushes. That's right. That's good. Everybody and their grandma's a drug addict now. Amen. You know, you're supposed to hurt once in a while, people. Why do I? Amen. I'm not against medicine if you have to have it, but don't let them make you a drug addict. That's right. Christian ain't supposed to let nothing control us. That's right. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Nothing that nobody can control right. us but the Lord Jesus. You go. That's right. Number four, it's precious because of what it cures. Yeah. It's precious because of what it cures. Years ago, at our church in Marion, someone asked me about that boy. I said, I don't know. Years ago, in Marion, 
Lord, this was 25 years ago. We had a guy in church come in and, you know, it'll change you. Getting saved, getting put under the blood of Jesus, it'll change you. Yeah. And, and everybody wants it.